Okay, so next we will learn to construct the dihybrid test cross. Okay, so as we know that test cross is to test the genotype, the unknown genotype of some individual. So for dihybrid case, it involves two characteristics. So let's see the key first. A represent tall allele. Small a represent short allele. Big B represent purple allele. Small b represent white allele. Okay, so for now, parent generation, they have the genotype. Test cross must always cross with homozygous recessive. So if homozygous recessive is small a, small a, small b, small b. So why we must cross with homozygous recessive? Because we know the genotype very well. They only will show the short and white flower when they are homozygous recessive. So this is the one that we want to know, the genotype. So let's say this one has big A, small A, big B, small B. Okay, so what is the gamete from this? So for this case, heterozygous. So they came up with four different possibilities of the gametes. So big A, big B. Big A, small B. Small A, big B. Small A, small B. Well, for this case, since they are homozygous, so they only have one possibility of small a, small b. If you want to write four times, it is also okay, but it's just that wasting your time. Because if you write four times, it is all the same results, but you have to construct a Barnett square to see the result. So I prefer only write once, small a, small b. Okay, because all will be the same. So now for F1 generation, you make a cross between these two parents. Big A, small A, big B, small B. For these parents, big A, small A, small B, small B. For this case, small A, small A, big B, small B. For this case, small A, small A, small B, small B. So what is the phenotype? Okay, the phenotype ratio ratio is one tall purple. Okay, this is the tall purple versus one tall white to one short purple to one short white so if you get the results is one 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 like this then you say that the unknown genotype is heterozygous okay heterozygous for a and b so this is for dihybrid test cross. Okay, so now I'm going to make a conclusion between the monohybrid and the dihybrid cross. So for the first one, we learn about monohybrid. Monohybrid only one characteristics. So self cross. You have. Uh, what to say self cross here is the big A, small A, cross with the big A, small A. Okay, so you get the result is 3 to 1. That is for your phenotype ratio. Okay. Then the genotype ratio, you will get about 1 to 2 to 
one. Okay, test cross. Okay, so for test cross, you cross between big A, small A, and small A, small A. So your phenotype ratio is one to one. Okay, genotype ratio is also one to one. So for genotype ratio and phenotype ratio, actually you must write down what white color, purple color, tall, short, big A, small A, big B, small B, or what? Okay. So the next one, die hybrid. Die hybrid, we have self cross. Self cross is the cross between big A, small A, big B, small B, and big A, small A, big B, small B. So you have the phenotype ratio. Phenotype ratio is 9 to 3 to 3 to 1. Genotype ratio. Genotype ratio. Usually we do not state it because it's too many. Then for the dihybrid test cross, it's between big A, small A, big B, small B, with small A, small A, small B, small B. So the phenotype and also genotype ratio are 1, 1, 1, 1. Okay. So now we will see the mm, conclusion all right okay so this is what i have mentioned just now monohybrid law of segregation mendel first law okay that the pair of allele must segregate during gamete formation Dihybrid cross is about law of independent assortment. Like for example, the big A, small A, big B, small B. So they assort independently. So that's why you have four different possibilities of the gametes. Big A, big B, big A, small B, small A, big B, and small A, small B. So they arrange independently. Right? So this is Mendel's second law. So all the ratios I've already mentioned here, 3 to 1, 1 to 1 for phenotype and genotype, test cross is 1 to 1, dihybrid cross, phenotype ratio is 9, 3, 3, 1, genotype ratio, uh, that is the too many numbers that very hard to remember, so usually we do not memorize for this, test cross is 1, 1, 1, 1, okay.